Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys back today. I decided to show you a little spring haul because I'm so excited about the warmer weather coming up and wanted to show you the pieces I purchased. I spent a thousand dollars at Aritzia. Let's get started. These are the pieces I got. This blue dress, this cute white top, some denim, a black romper, a very cropped hoodie, one black skirt with cute buttons, one red skirt to add some pattern, a pair of sweats pants, this cute white skirt, and a matching little top for the skirt. So first up, I got these Yoko Slim denim. They are high rise. They're from Aritzia's new line of denim called the Denim Forum. I really like the wash. I think they're a really great fit. I did have to size up a bit, which I'm not sure was the best choice because the girls at Aritzia also said, stay your size or size down because they will stretch. So I'm gonna have to think about that and see if I go with my regular size. I ordered a 27, but I'm usually a 26. The jeans do have a button front closure and not a zipper. I am a really big fan of the button front closure. I just like the way it feels better and I don't have to worry about leaving my fly down ever. I also really like the feeling of the denim. They are a little bit of a harder, closer to like a raw denim. And so not as soft as like a jegging would be. I really like the length of these jeans. They hit right at my ankle, which I really like. So you can tuck them into boots or cuff them up. And I think the cuff also looks really cute and you get that like perfectly cropped length. Next up is the Janine top. I ordered this because I thought it would look really cute with the denim. I love linen. I think it's one of the best fabrics. It always just feels so good when you're wearing it. And I think the buttons are really cute detail. The sleeve is kind of puffy and I think I maybe should have ordered a size down. I ordered a small and I maybe would have gone for an extra small. I just find the elastic on the shoulders a bit loose and so it can slip off here and there. But overall, I love the little peplum detail and I'm just a sucker for white in the summer. Next up, we have the Little Moon Peony skirt. I ordered this because I thought it would be a really cute staple for summer. I am a sucker for lace and it's just the perfect length when I'm wearing it. It has an elastic waistband, which I really appreciate because I love to eat ice cream in the summertime. So sometimes I get a little bit of a food baby. And so this hides it really well. I love the little pleating detail and that it comes with its own underskirt. So you don't have to worry about it being see-through or finding the perfect length. I wasn't expecting to, the lace to look the way it did. When you pull it out, it does kind of remind me of a doily, but when it's in its pleats, you don't really notice it, and I do think it's really cute. I also love that it pairs with this little moon crop top. It's called the Sedum Top. It does have adjustable straps, and it's from the same line and same color, so it goes really well, and I'm really looking for the perfect little set that you can wear together, but also wear separately. It's like, the bonus of a dress, but you get more out of it. With the crop top, I do recommend trying it on in store because I do feel a little bit exposed. Maybe it's just because we're coming out of winter and I'm used to living in turtlenecks, but you do have to feel very comfortable either not wearing a bra or just wearing something to make sure that you stay covered but I do think it's super cute and it's gonna look great with high-waisted shorts too. Next up, we have the Amelie skirt. I ordered this one in two colors, so I got this red pattern one, and then I also got a black one because usually I try and stick to neutral colors. I do really like the red pattern, but I do think I'm still a neutral kind of girl, so I'm not sure if I should keep that one. Maybe let me know down below what you guys think. I love the button detailing. I'm kind of obsessed with buttons, I think. I love that you can turn them to the side. I think I prefer them on the side. And I was really hoping that it would kind of give me that Angelina Jolie leg that was really big a few years ago. But I just find the length a little bit too long. I feel too bohemian. I think if it was the same length as the Little Moon skirt, it would have been perfect. 
but overall it's a very light fabric. It's gonna be great for summer. And I love the way it pairs with a bunch of other things I already own. Next up, we have this Sunday Best Tibby dress. I love this beautiful blue color. It also comes in white, so I might have to get white as well. I love the little ruffle details. I think it's so girly and cute. I love the keyhole back opening, even if I do have trouble closing the button by myself. And of course, a favorite feature in any dress is when it has pockets. I kind of hate carrying a purse around, and so if I can put all my necessities in my pockets, I am a happy girl. I do find the length a little bit short, but again, we're coming out of winter. I think I'm just used to my body being super covered up, but I don't think it's too short. I just think it's kind of a personal preference thing. Next, we have this TNA Sen Senru, Senru, I don't know how to say it, but it's a black romper and I think it's super cute. It's probably my favorite item out of everything I purchased, which I am surprised by. I didn't think it would be, but the fabric is just really soft. Again, I love that it has pockets and I think it's a very versatile piece because you can pair any sort of t-shirt you want under it, a tank top or a bralette if you are a little bit more risque. I love that the straps have a kind of locking feature. So even if they do slip off, you're not gonna pop open and they are adjustable straps so you can find the perfect length for you. I really prefer this romper to the Wilfred one that is also very similar. The Wilfred one has a tie at the waist which I think depending on the shape of your body it can be too loose and then I feel like my butt's gonna be exposed but I don't feel like I have that issue in this one at all. I really love the fabric, it's super soft. My only complaint would be that it does kind of pick up the lint a little bit more, but I'm not too concerned because we have those little rolly sticky things all over the place. Next up, we have the TNA Slim Sweat Pant, a staple in any wardrobe. I think it's a great fabric. It's fleece lined on the inside. I love that there's elastic waistbands. Again, hide those food babies and also elastics on the bottom so they're a bit more of a jogger fit. When you put your hands in the pockets, you'll notice that it's a completely different fabric than on the inside or the outside of the pant. It's kind of like a soft jersey material, and so I kind of just want to keep my hands in there the whole time. I paired it with the TNA Super Crop hoodie. It's the exact same color and fabric as the sweatpants. It's again, fleece lined on the inside. I'm not sure that I'm a huge fan. To be honest, I only ordered these two pieces because I saw Allegra Shaw in a matching sweatsuit and she looked really cute. I don't think I look as cute, so I'm not sure I'll be keeping it. But I really like the idea of it for traveling, for flying long flights, which we will be doing soon, and just for lounging around the house. I also have to give a huge shout out to Aritzia Customer Care. When my order shipped, I noticed that only part of it was shipping and so I checked and I realized I ordered a skirt in a double zero instead of a four. And so I hopped online and I spoke with Sophia at Aritzia Customer Care and she helped me out and she canceled the future order and put in a new order for the right size skirt and I'm pretty sure they came within a day of one another. So thank you so much Sophia at Aritzia Customer Care. You guys rock. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this Aritzia clothing haul. I am shocked that I spent a thousand dollars, but it's not hard because I really love Aritzia. Let me know down below which one was your least favorite piece or your favorite piece. And if there's any of these pieces that you would consider buying for yourself. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you again soon.